I could try to block out the sun. Does Here comes work? the sun. No, nope, like no, that in. does not work. Mm. There right. we go. All right, this is uh, I mean, this is still the Nature Crew Podcast three, mm-hmm. but uh, part two of that, I guess. Right, extra yeah. episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. After hours. Mm-hmm. We have Manira and uh, Andrew Bird left, so it's just us now. We were talking about uh, seeing things in pictures. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you saying? Like you said, your theory in the eighties. Oh yeah, like everything, like all the movies, uh, not the movies, the fucking yeah. games, uh, games and shit were pixelated mm-hmm. because they saw like shit in, in pixels. You know what I'm saying? So whenever they like made games. They just yeah. saw like pixels, like they just envisioned it as pixels. Oh, huh. Instead of like actual like human beings, they just thought like, what if we just put this little block right there and that's just a guy? You know? and they just did that, like a comic book. Maybe that was the standard. And then everything got more and more and more realistic and shit, I guess. And then you have shit like uh, like arms, that's pretty realistic. Super Smash Bros. Is pretty realistic. Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey. They they go like down to like the hair on his mustache. Yeah. So it's like no. Have you seen, have you seen the speed runs from Mario Odyssey? The like nipple percent. Oh yeah, I think. Like, you gotta you gotta get a Mario shirtless outfit as fast as possible. Nipple mm. percent. Yeah. I've seen like actual like speed like not like at, like completely like they were. There's only like casual speed running. Like, mm. there's this one dude named Alpharad. I watched mm-hmm. him try to do a singular jump from like the spawn to like this other place where you could get a moon, but the timing is like frame perfect. Mm. So there's like two to three frames of like wiggle room. And if you like mess it up in any way, you just lose. So I believe it's so it's ground pound on top of the hat. You roll off the edge. You throw Cappy. You jump towards Cappy. You jump off of Cappy. Twirl. Throw Cappy again. Jump. And if you get it at the right angle, you'll be able to jump onto the ledge and roll. Hmm. Like you're gonna mess up your timing a little bit for what you've been doing consistently and accidentally get it. Ah! Yeah, that's fucked up. I don't even know why that's an option. You just kind of tease people like, yeah, you're never gonna get this, but here's a little thing. No, like, it wasn't... They didn't, like, actually intend it. It was just, I like, was just, like some... somebody found it. Ah, uh, but that person has way too much time on his hands. Yeah, he's I, a, I think it hands. took... I think it took this dude, like... A bajillion tries? Yeah, it was, like... I think attempt like either like 60 or 600. God, I would orgasm after that long. You're just waiting and waiting, and finally you hit it like, ah. <laughs> Knowing that you did something that no one will probably ever do again. Well, I mean, you could. Did, did it happen again? It happened. Like, oh, God. No, like he was trying to do something. Mm. Someone already did. And it's kind of common. But the thing is, it's really like risk and reward, and the reward isn't that much for that uh, map. I wish my hair wasn't this short. I feel kind of naked. Vulnerable. Yeah. When he started cutting it off, like it was in chunks. Like I had never gotten like chunks cut off. Did you go to a barber? Yeah. We wore masks and shit. (laughs) (laughs) I guess biking all the way over here was a good workout though. Yeah. It was like a little... Yeah, it's like a little warm up. I feel like it could be used as a warm up mm-hmm. if you want to like do something more than that. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, by the way, we learned how to ride a bike. Yeah, yeah we learned how to ride a bike. Yeah, yeah. slugs are, uh, yeah. I guess, yeah, Manir, Manir taught slugs and uh, and piece how to ride a bike. So, yeah. I brought my bike. It's over there. We yeah. don't know what happened to it, but it's okay. Yeah. Maybe. Kind of miss some Troy people. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Of course. Are there a lot of them? Do you even hang out with anyone like from Troy that went to UCI? What do you mean by hang out with them? Like just chill, maybe a couple Ch- times. Like no, not really. Mm. I, I yeah, I feel like I do that with my UCI friend, like people I met at UCI. UCI. Yeah. I feel like I do that with them. 
like Troy people, I would like eat with them sometimes. Mm. But I mean, that's pretty much the most I've done with them. So. Oh yeah, Pokemon Sword and Shield got a DLC. Oh yeah, I think I, I saw Munching Orange post some videos on something. So. Dude, honestly, Sword and Shield are, are, have been kind of disappointing. Oh really? Yeah. Like, graphics aren't that great. Like, yeah, it's like open world and like Pokemon are roaming around. Mm. But like, other than that, that's like basically the only thing that I felt was like enjoyable. Other than like the Dynamax raids for like three or four days. If I really wanted to, I feel like I could have completed the entire game in like three days. The game, there's not like, you know how in like Diamond and Pearl, like you could go like different places and like you could get lost somewhere mm -hmm. or you could start exploring this cave but it's not really like part of the like actual story like you like you know mm -hmm. so with sword and shield there's just two loops and line going through each loop so you have to complete each loop and you go through the line and then at the end of the line is the final stay um well the championship thing and it's just like well that was boring it's kind of like life isn't it <laughs> i guess so oh yeah and the, the post game for it like without dlc post game feels extremely lackluster you know how sun and moon the story was like how good yeah right it was how good like okay gameplay wise i didn't completely like it because like z crystals were kind of boring the trials were something but like the challenges going up to the trials were kind of dumb like, oh yeah yeah the fire one you remember the i fire don't one? i don't remember much but it was the spot the difference one. Oh, i think so the I one where lot, it's like but... the marowax do a dance and you have to find something different with each dance oh i remember that yeah it was yeah. hella dumb i remember the one where it's like you got to find all the fishes and they'll combine to be one fish oh yeah the wishy-washy one yeah with sword and shield the some of the trials are actually pretty cool oh there's trials the sword shield as well yeah like yeah. you know like there's no like gyms there are gyms oh okay gyms but before that there's like a trial oh okay oh really yeah so i think the trials like some of them were actually i really liked the war one mm -hmm. it felt like an old game where it was like a puzzle where you had to like fi find out which buttons you had to press in order to like unlock the path so i really liked that <laughs> but like um uh, some of them were a little bit weird <laughs> Cause like the grass one. Yeah. Why are y'all smiling? I, just, I thought of something real funny, but I don't remember. It, so that's that's also what was so funny is that I didn't remember. It. So the grass one is just like rolling. You have to like herd a bunch of sheep across the field. The fighting slash ghost one. You're just spinning around in a teacup. The story. Oh yeah, that's where I want to go. The story from Sun and Moon was really good but like Sword and Shield was trash it was really trash mm. cause like you have a twist villain and the twist villain he doesn't feel like a twist villain to be honest he's so like nice at the beginning he acts nice but he has like bad actions and it's just like at towards the end you know he's evil Cause like the evil team are like stupid. The evil team of this generation is stupid. Which makes it less believable that there's any other villain other than him. And then the evil team, which is Team Yo, if, do you remember remember seeing that? I think so. And do you remember the like punk girl, Marnie? Uh, I don't remember. The one with like the electric rat Pikachu? No no. I the, just pictured 
No, electric hamster, sorry. I don't think so. She has like a pink dress, black jacket. Pink got hair? Pink. No, black. Black hair. I don't know. Man. So, the evil team, well, she's like your rival. And the evil team, Team Yo, is basically her like fans. And that's it. Mm -hmm. That's all their motivation is, mm -hmm. is that they're her fans. And they want to stop the trainers from becoming champion. Oh, I think I think you did tell me about this. I think you mentioned this to me at some point. I think, Chris, I'm yeah. your fan. My only fan? No. Nope. <laughs> Those crows up there, they're your fan. Hmm. That tree right there, that's your fan. You got fans all over the place. You just gotta look in the right places, you know? And that gives you motivation and strength. And then you know how it's like a wild area, right? For a base, water. Mm. for the base game, the wild area doesn't feel like a wild area. The pH level is very high, very low. Oh yeah, very low. yeah, very very low. The base game, wild area, kind of just sucks because there's not much to it. It's like there's a lake, and then over here. There's a lake on the side, and then here's like a mini canyon, and like that's it. That's all of the wild area, so there's not much to explore. You can explore the world. Except in Pokemon, you only get to explore the small, very small region. Mm -hmm. And it sucks. I'm too faded right now. <laughs> how's your weeks? Oh, how's your weeks, Lex? My week? Yeah. It's uh. You know me, just getting high, playing games. Holy shit, that's depressing now that I have to think about it. What? What? What I do every oh, single oh. day. Smoke weed and play games. Really? I feel like that's like, you know, it's no, like no, life. No, no, it's like, it's a life, but it's also depressing in that it's a cycle. Yeah. Oh. Just, I just keep on doing it because of this quarantine bullshit. Um, Switch me. This is really depressing to think about it. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I got a cut. Oh. Like, no, it was like, the cut, this cut, like, covered my hand in blood. Ooh. It was that deep. What happened? I was trying to, I, like, basically I just hit myself against like a very sharp glass, like, shelf. Mm. Oh, okay. What were you saying on this, Lex? No, oh, okay. I think I was, but <laughs> I think I wasn't either. No. I pointed out Chris's thing. <laughs> yeah, this has been healing, like, actually for a long time before, like, mm -hmm. we started, like, the whole me up thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You'll probably get high on, honestly, you'll probably get high before you even want to. How many puffs does it take to get high? For, I guess for- oh, one of them, what? Just one. Just one? Shit. Well, I mean, uh, like, like... I mean, there's different levels to it, but to get high, yeah, just one. Oh, shit. And then you start feeling the effects, and you can tell, like, there's a dip, like... Uh-huh. You can tell that it's having an effect on you, even just after one time. Yeah. And with actual weed, it's probably a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. That's like synth uh, synthetic, right? This is, uh, yeah, this is wax, so... I don't really like smoking from these because all kinds of shit can be inside here. But it's from a trusted person. Yeah, yeah. Who's the first person to figure out smoking is possible? Somebody in like Greek. I do think, did, but, would, would, did they like accidentally set like tobacco on fire? They'll, they'll like smell and they go, wait, I could probably smoke this. Like, no, probably like, how does a, that even work? probably like some soldiers burnt down the house and like mm -hmm. around that house there's a bunch of like weed. <laughs> and then they started to get just high off of the weed. I heard actually there's a story about the first person who ever like used weed technically. And it was this Chinese man. Uh, he had like them, they were growing. Yeah. Because this was back when you could just grow it like anywhere. Like mm -hmm. this was probably a long time ago. But like he was growing them and he would burn them. But not because he, he wanted to get high off of it. But because he said he liked the smell. Mm -hmm. He liked the smell of marijuana. And so yeah, that, I heard that's the first person who ever like 
kind of burned marijuana, I guess, and sort of dealt with the effects. Mm. Like, I can't stress enough, like, if you do try it for the first time, just make sure you're, like, in a safe environment. Like, someone's with, someone's there with you, someone who knows about it. Like, yeah. You're going to have me Yeah, there? you, you, for sure. <laughs> thousand percent, thousand percent. Thousand percent. I'll fly to Arizona, or I'll, I'll fly you to here. Damn. From Arizona. Slugs, it's time. <laughs> Yo. I think weed is like, it's addicting, sort of, but it's also really easy to quit. Really? Yeah, it's just like, it's kind of weird to where like, you can get into like a cycle of doing it, but once you kind of like realize that cycle, you're just like, I'll, I'll stop, and then like, you just kind of stop. Huh. And then like, yeah. But do you ever get like, the craving for it again? Yeah, like, you ever get withdrawal mm. symptoms? Or is it like, if you go back no. to it? No, there's no withdrawal symptoms. I mean, you might miss it, like just the feeling, but uh, like like actual like symptoms of like wanting it, you don't feel any. Mm. But yeah, it's not really a painful like situation if you like if, say I stop smoking weed for like three months. It's not really that bad. Mm. Oh, yeah, my sister has been talking about like she wants to get a dog. Mm. So do I. I would, but I'm too lazy to take care of it. Would your parents even allow it? My, I mean, my, my, my mom and my dad wouldn't want to take care of it. Cause it's like, it's not, it's, there's, it's not like what they wanted, mm -hmm. but my sister wants one. You want a dog too, Slugs? Yeah. I just smoke, have the dog smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> hey Fido, put this in your mouth. <laughs> I might do that. Breathe in. <laughs> I might do that. <laughs> But um, yeah, I just want to like take care of one, you know. Mm. I feel like that'd be a nice experience. I, I feel like it's something that a lot of people should probably go through. I think I would have, I would want a small dog, mm. just to like take care of something every single day. That's gotta be good for something. Yeah. Like distracting yourself from reality. I guess after that you start settling into life. After you start feeding your dog every day, then you start making your bed every morning, then you start. You know, brushing your teeth and then getting into all these routines and then you just that's life and then that. your dog dies yeah <laughs> then you... would you rather have a child first or, or a dog first i'd rather have a dog, dog right first. yeah yeah well, i don't know i mean like i feel like having a puppy is like a trial to having a i've dreamt about having kids I mean, like at a super young age like 22 really? right out of college yeah i had dreams about that yeah. wow I feel like I wouldn't want a kid until like I'm financially stable, you know. Yeah, that's the that's the way to go for mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> yeah. How's your week, please? Mainly are in public speaking, and then when Wednesday dropped, um, it was um, DLC. Oh yeah, like Pokemon Snap. Yeah. It's coming Wait, out. No, that's coming out. Yeah. The hooks, hella nice. Mm -hmm, Compared to the graphics and Sword and Shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sword and Shield looks like a 2000s game, mm -hmm. whereas Pokemon Snap looks like a 2020 game. Mm -hmm. So a lot of a lot of uh, coronavirus and racism. <laughs> so like viruses and racism, everyone's wearing masks. So. Yeah. <laughs> World War Three. Oh shoot! Ch the China and India thing. What do you mean? Chinese uh, border patrol killed like 20-ish Indian border patrol so the Indian border patrol killed like 43 oh shoot mm. oh well <laughs> we'll see what happens with border patrol let, let me pull it up slugs yes how many times do you hit this a day I normally do like sets of two or three like to get me high enough for like about two to three hours and then i do it again so about maybe three times four times oh well, i guess right. we're behind yeah, india three, now what do you mean uh trump said that we'll back up india oh well we're going to war people oh, no. <laughs> we're gonna die <laughs> wait so slugs you should like Tally, you should wake up mm -hmm. and tally every time you hit this. You should like put a time on every time. See how much, how many times. I'm a wake and bake guy. I wait, I smoke as soon as I wake up. 
Is this like on your on your desk? You like wake up, grab on your desk, and smoke. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cartoonish, bro. You just oh, really? And you just grab it. Uh, let's get the day started. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cartoonish. Yeah. You can't. It's like uh, I can't function on my coffee. Can't function on my weed. I mean, I could function, but it's uh, just yeah. like it's like a. It kind of like, like the world kind of feels like. Out of, like, cause if you've been doing it for a long ass time, the world like if you just suddenly quit, like the world kind of like looks out of place and sort of oh. feels out of place as well. Uh huh. So it's like, yeah, you just smoke it and then. Yeah. Ooh. I think that is showing. What I'm saying is like the that that kind of like weirdness. It only lasts for a short period of time. So like that's why I say like there's no like withdrawals. Mm, okay. So like once you settle back into reality, it's like ah oh, fuck. That. So that was the come down. Like it came down. It's like all right, I'm back. Mm. I don't think they're releasing any movies, right? Mm. They're all just oh. piling. No, up. like it's online. Sort yeah. of. Are they online? Oh. So I think I know there was a like big one that released online. I hope we don't get rid of movie theaters in the future. Like with all the streaming shit. And, like, mm. Like yeah, I wonder how right? like because Super Tension went bankrupt. Yeah. I wonder if any like like AMC or like yeah. Regal like, like I wonder how they're holding up. I feel like it's pockets. not good. Yeah, right? I feel like it's not good. It's right? not good because they were already in the decline. Right, right. So, do you think maybe one of them will go bankrupt someday? Maybe. This keeps going on like this. I feel like if theaters more will come back, they have to go bigger. Mm. Like surround sound and shit. I feel like they already have surround sound. Oh well, yeah, but like. Eh. Like, like 40 like yeah. scents they put in smells no like <laughs> like bigger stadium sort mm. of thing oh okay make it like a fucking cultural event yeah <laughs> it's like I don't know the new sort Avengers like, coming out everyone go to the football stadium and just show it on a giant ass fucking that'd sport. be interesting yeah <laughs> and everyone's just cheering hey, when the fucking Avengers win and then everyone's booing for like terrible movies <laughs> <laughs> What movies coming out that everyone absolutely detests? Coming out? Yeah. Uh, Trolls 2. No, that already came out. Oh, did it? Yeah. And I don't think everyone would have detested it, because you have to think kids. Yeah. The Emoji movie. Yeah, everyone would have booed for that. I think, I honestly think if Star Wars, the m most recent installment, if that came out in like a movie theater the size of like a football stadium, yeah. there will have been fights going on. Maybe. Like half the mo movie theaters like punching each other. Maybe we're just all meant to be alone. You know, we, we got this far by connecting and communicating, but maybe now it's time for us to just be alone. True. Damn. You know how like you've seen those graves in like the like, Indiana Jones movies and shit? Yeah. And then, like inside of them there's like all these skeletons and stuff. It's like that was real people. That's like people like us, right? And so like when we get buried and shit, we're gonna look like that. To the in the future, to a bunch of other it's just a bunch of bones and shit. So where does all everything else go? Like all the flesh disappears, right? But where does like all this all this like the soul and everything, where does that go? No one? Maybe. Maybe when we die we just die. Maybe. I have a special guest today, I'm quite uh, disappointed. <laughs> well, I guess when you're in, uh, when you're in, I should break technically. Technically. Yeah. Well, no, they, they're part of the podcast. Yeah, I guess so, I guess so. Uh, yeah, yeah, true, no special, yeah. Because last time I was just like, uh, random ass. Yeah. yeah. There's was a dog, bad. and then Ryan and Lily. Yeah. What's next? Potato one? Oh, shit! <laughs> Chris! <laughs> You know what to do. Cry internally. Oh. <laughs> do you just like the feel of it? Like the, the yeah. 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 Yeah, just, yeah, me too. Yeah. That's why I flip it around and chill. Yeah. <laughs> do you do like the pencil twirling thing? Yeah, I, I do that as well. Is that like a sign or something? Is that like some fucking... Like I try to mental do... Mental illness. <laughs> Like, I think I'm able to do it slowly, but like, I've seen my friend and he's able to do it like hella fast. Mm -hmm. I also have, like, if I don't do it correctly, I might like flick into my face. The Nature Show Crew Podcast, presented to you by 
No sponsors yet. <laughs> we Bye. will have one. Brass knuckles. <laughs> Brass knuckles. <laughs> We're sponsored by Brass Knuckles. <laughs> sponsored by Brass Knuckles. And also, San Pellegrino. Yeah. Sparkling water. And uh, Apple. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Those are some pretty good brands. Yeah. Sponsored by Apple. That's pretty good. Yeah. I don't think Pellegrino. That's also a pretty big brand, technically. Technically speaking, yeah. Right. And this is yeah. This is more of like a. This is not like a as big, but like it's also it's very specific. Right. Yeah. So, brass knuckles. Okay, it's a sponsorship, dude. Say we were to get sponsored. Like let's just say it's us. So like, so 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 we were get sponsored by brass knuckles. Okay. But, we have to try it. <laughs> Would you do it? No. Ooh. <laughs> I guess, what would they, they just send us a bunch of this shit? I don't know. Yeah, they probably just send us a bunch of hearts and shit. And we'll set, we'll just have you do it. <laughs> do, 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 do. So when you smoke it for the first time, are you going to do the actual weed or are you going to do this? Whatever's handed to me, I guess. Oh! <laughs> you're just going to Whatever, ask whatever's just there, I You're guess. just going to ask me? I don't know. I mean, this is here, right? Yeah. So this would be an option, but right. if you if you just happen to have a blunt, I mean, that's also an option too. Mm. Well, if you prefer edibles, you know, you can do edibles. You don't. I feel like edibles are like, less scary. No, they're more scary. It's a. Oh, really? I feel like it's a different drug, to be honest. It's just like this THC like fucking mind fuck where you just sink into the floor and shit. It's more psychedelic, right? Really. I think smoking is the best way, but. Edibles are a good source of fun too. Have you done edibles? Yeah. I had some gummy bears. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was so nice. I like brownie. Have you heard of brownie? No, I've never had. Oh really? Okay. Just edibles. Oh, just gummy bears. Right edibles sneak up on you too, because like it'll be like an hour and you don't feel anything after you've eaten it, because it's like digesting and shit. So it's like you're like, hey, man, this shit, this thing is shit, and then it hits you. You sink into the couch and shit, and <laughs> you just in your own world. You just fuck. You just you're fucked. The, the trip, the ride is not stopping. I feel like I'm finally getting my weight back under control since coming back. How much you weigh now? I weigh 200 flat. Damn. What about you? I actually went up to 190. Mm, okay. I was 188 last time we checked. And tomorrow I'm definitely going up. Father. Mm. Father today. Oh, you celebrate Father's Day? Or like you guys get like a big ass dinner or some shit? Yeah. Oh, so, oh yeah, you say you were smoking- Yeah, I'm uh, smoking ribs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing Chris will smoke, ribs. Mm. Mm. It would just be a, a giant bong. <laughs> and then at the bottom of the bong, it's just ribs. Ooh. There's no marijuana, it's just ribs. Damn, you smoke the dead carcass of that might be that might be the move. That might be the next drug. True. Smoke salmon. Yeah. <laughs> Put like sushi. <laughs> bong. Should, we should go hunting. Do fishing. That is technically a form of hunting. Yeah. Oh, I should probably ask my friend because his uh, save puts in fish every like year, and you could like catch the fish. And on that day, you could get like twenty fish. You can like keep the fish too. Yeah. Oh, so. keep it, eat it, anything you want eat with the fish. Big. You could smoke the fish, give it like marijuana. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if you can like force an animal to really smoke. I mean, somebody did. I think monkeys smoke, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> I've seen a video where they gave a bird a blunt <laughs> and it basically passed out mm. after one hit THC man they'll do wonders for your body the hella carrier mm. I feel really stronger I feel more like you know bro THC is the new steroid yeah just run through everything and if you feel like a little bit of strain in your muscles mm. smoke the weed 
I learned how to ride a fucking bike. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Thank you so well, much. Well, hi. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Now I gotta, now I gotta buy a bike and fucking learn how to skateboard and shit. <laughs> I'll bring a skateboard next time? Yeah. We'll just learn everything. Learn how scooters are actually hella easy. Sure. I guess. That concludes Mitch Show Crew Podcast for today, I guess. Mitch Show Crew right. Podcast. Oh. I lost count. The three. number three. Yeah. Oh. Three uh, after hours. Yeah. Three. Yeah, we don't have much to say else. But uh, we'll see you next week. About quarantine. Yeah. But we might need to quarantine again. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah.